Despite the advantages in our multi-component defense structure, most cancer patients fail to eliminate their disease and often die as a consequence of it. This is irrespective of medical advancement and new technologies in treating this disease. In order for our natural defense mechanism to be optimized, it is obvious now and critical that our bacteria colony's health is preserved. Therefore, we should observe a symbiotic relationship between the mixed bacteria colony, of which bifidobacteria constitute a significant portion of the microflora in the colon, the immunological system, including white blood cells, and the vital supplements produced in the small intestines, all working and communicating with each other to defeat cancer and other disease processes. An important requirement for the efficient functioning of this symbiotic relationship is that food consumed should not be harmful to any of the components in the relationship. Most commercial foods are manufactured to have an extended shelf life. In order to achieve this, manufacturers go to great lengths to ensure that their foods undergo various processing regimens, which usually include the addition of effective additives and preservatives. Examples of these include the processing of wheat gluten to produce white flour, which produces soluble polypeptides, which can have negative antibacterial properties. The ingestion of these commercial foods will expose both the small and large intestinal colonies to these antibacterial products, which results in the deterioration of these colonies and their contribution to the symbiotic relationship. Other examples include that of milk processing, specifically low-fat milk, when natural or organic. Whole milk contains soluble proteins which allow for easy consumption. These soluble proteins, polypeptides, do have antibacterial or natural preservative properties. However, because of the normal fat content in whole milk, it naturally coagulates or clumps in the stomach when exposed to its acidic environment. This effectively reduces the ability of whole milk products to dilute and diffuse freely in the stomach and therefore inhibits the antibacterial properties in milk, as it restricts its exposure to the bacteria flora. The use of antibacterial agents extend even to municipal drinking water, which contain chlorine, and in many cases is also contaminated with industrial and pharmaceutical chemicals. These chemicals can also impact the pH balance in the small intestine and colonic environments by disturbing the delicate balance between putrefactive, non-beneficial bacteria which also live in the colon, and beneficial bacteria. These beneficial bacteria resist and control the overgrowth of certain strains of bad bacteria in these colonies. For example, it is well known to modern science that certain strain of bad bacteria residing in the intestines can manufacture carcinogens, cancer-causing substances, from additives in food and drinking water. Attempts to avoid this consequence with strict use of organic foods have yielded some success. And though we have already seen that organic foods contain preservatives, for example, sodium benzoate, these foods do not adversely affect the bacteria colonies. This is so, because it can be observed that these foods also contain prebiotic, or anti-preservative elements, which neutralize the effect of the preservative when ingested. Based on this comparison now, it would mean the addition of prebiotics to commercial foods, would prevent, or reverse its negative effect on the human bacterial symbiotic relationship. Prebiotics or antipreservatives are non-digestible food ingredients that stimulate the growth and activity of bacteria in the digestive system and are beneficial to the health of the body. The basic formulation of immunogizer products includes the addition of fast-acting and slow-acting prebiotics. Fast-acting prebiotics, example glucosisters, are activated in the small intestines and will assist in the acidification of this environment, and the growth and activity of lactobacillus species. Concurrently, this reduces the growth of putreactive species of bacteria which favor a more alkaline, or less acidic environment, in order to thrive. 
slow-acting prebiotics, example fructooligosaccharides, FOS, are more stable, and are activated in the large intestines, thus promoting the growth of bifidobacteria. Therefore, a simple, more effective and practical method to counteract the dilemma that is presented with easy availability and consumption of commercial foods, is with the use of prebiotics, or anti-preservative factors, with meals. These products recreate the approach used in natural foods, where preservatives are adequately counteracted by prebiotic ingredients. The Immunogizer products, especially Immunogizer Puritabs, and Immunogizer Premium, are prebiotic supplements, specifically designed to improve bacterial health and response in protecting the body against cancers. Many testimonials have shown that the continuous use of these products, with an adequate and timely supply of food, will eliminate most cancers within a period of 12 months.